Hi, this is JB from Nota Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough in Arkham Horror the card game. And uh, this time we are playing the Machine in Yellow scenario from the Dark Matter campaign, which is a fan made campaign for Arkham Horror LCG. So, last time uh, we managed to finish off the 3 C scenario, which is the last of the scenario. Threes and uh, it was the Strange Moon scenario. We got five experience out of that scenario. So uh, first, let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and see what kind of upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com, and I used my five experience to upgrade my defiances to level two. So now I ignore all the special. Uh, tokens that I have in the bag, skulls, cultists, tablets, and elder things. And we have a bunch of those already in the uh, chaos bag, so this is a good upgrade. Uh, so, those one, some of those are quite nasty, so it is good to have that upgrade. And I removed the level zeros, of course, for that. And lastly, I removed daring, which again I haven't used that much. And added in defensive stance. So this basically gives me um, three agility to agility tests and three uh, um, combat for combat tests. So it is a good because I'm a, uh, I have three in both of those stats. So it is a good good card altogether. Very f flexible. Okay, well those were the upgrades. So let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and uh, we are uh, set up for the machine in yellow, but before that, how did we get to this familiar looking <laughs> setup? If you have played uh, the Path to Carcosa, this looks really familiar to you. So let's first read the interlude to the introspection before we start. So. The strange quantum shards, the golden disk, obtained by, uh, from the MIGO, the cryptic message from Earth. Despite traveling throughout the solar system to uncover these individual pieces of the puzzle, you still can't seem to find, uh, fit them together into the one big picture. There is a key element missing, a connective tissue that will make sense of it all. Of course, there is also still one place you know for certain contents all of your answers, but you fear what you might find there, and that place is your own mind. Deep within your own subconscious, you can feel a shimmer of the cultist you embody, imprisoned in the edges between your thoughts. You know for certain that the other versions of you remembers how to find fragments. Enter entering one's own virtual mind is particularly dangerous, as, many as any small mistake could send you spiraling into insanity but you are ready to confront your past once and for all. With the help of K2 PS187, the cryo chamber, uh, the cryo chamber's dream protocols are once again tinkered with to access your own personal memories this time. You lie back down in the cryo chamber once more. With a flick of a switch, you begin to fall back into unconsciousness. Okay, so... Basically, we could have um, <coughs> uh, added impending doom to get Telemax to memories. Uh, so, so we didn't do that. Uh, we could play side scenarios to gain memories, but I'm not doing that. And uh, based on your difficulty level, we added uh, minus five into the chaos pack. Then uh, we. Uh, we have not uncovered the cultist in human method, so we go uh, pro uh, ignore the introspection one and go uh, to scenario four, the machine in yellow. So next, let's read the short um, intro for this scenario. So uh, scenario four, the machine in yellow. You awaken with a start, as though shaken by an unseen force. There are only a few other patrons in the audience, and no performers on stage. The lights are dimmed, and the stage curtains are tattered and ripped. A full but unrecognizable smell permeates the air. You are back in the war theater, where it all began. 
Is this an artifact of your memory, or have you been dreaming this entire time? Shaking off your drowsiness, you call out into the air for K2 Kias 187. To your relief and slight disappointment, the digitalized voice responds in confirmation that the procedure behaved as planned. You have arrived inside your own mind. Okay, well, um, there are no additional rules for this. Uh, we had a choice to add <coughs> the... Um, Maddening delusion sets instead of delusions encounter sets into uh, the encounter deck to gain one memory, but I didn't do that. So we are set up here. We start in the theater. So let's read the agenda. The third act. The theater is eerily silent. The old wooden floor creaks beneath your feet, and a light rain gently patters on the roof as you explore the auditorium. There are rotting corpses among the seats, and the rest of the crowd has vanished. Uh, fast recoverability or a reaction, uh, when you would take any amount of horror, you may cross out one tally mark from your memories instead, and uh, the doom threshold is 4. Then, uh, awakening question mark. You pinch yourself to see if you are dreaming, and sure enough, your skin does not sting. However strange it may be, delving into your mind is the only way to learn the truth of the matter. As an additional cause to enter backstage, investigators in the theater must spend two clues as a group. Objective after an investigator reveals the backstage. Advance. So we can't move into the backstage yet, so that means we have to go search for some clues first from the lobby and back, uh, balcony and uh, lobby doorway spots. Um, that is basically the setup done, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. Uh, I set up the K2PS187 here, but at the moment there is no way to scan for anything, so maybe we can't use that in this scenario. But let's draw our opening hand to see what kind of stuff we get. And uh, we get Ward of Protection, Guard Dog. Drawn to the Flame, Sixth Sense, and Talisman of Protection. Well, again, I really don't need that in the beginning. Uh, the rest... Uh, yeah, the rest I will keep. <laughs> and another Guard Dog, so... Uh, we really need to find a weapon. Hopefully we can hit, hit one weapon from our deck early on. So, doing a quick shuffle to the uh, draw deck before we start. I think we're just going to play the guard dog, move to the lobby, and see where we get from there. Or play maybe the sixth sense. Well, um, I have to think about it. Okay, well. Mm, first action. I think I will just move into the lobby. So, force shroud, one clue force. When lobby re is revealed, put two of the set aside lobby doorway locations into play at random. There's an action to draw three cards. So, actually, quite tempted to do that to find a weapon. Or is it overkill? I think I'll play the guard dog. And uh, yeah, we need to put the lobby doorways into place. So we have three lobby doorways. And I'm only using the Bat to Carcosa set, so no return to cars, which you could use if you wanted to. Okay, so we get those two. Put that one aside. So I will place them like so. And if we get the third one, I'll put it over here and do the mirror on the other other side. Okay, and... Uh, uh, I think I will risk moving into 
lobby doorway, this one. So we find the green room. Uh, shroud of five, one clue, investigate, you get uh, plus three intellect for this investigation. After this skill test ends, discard each card in your hand. So we are definitely not doing that this game. And that is our turn, so no enemies will go to upkeep. We get drawn. Uh, read the signs and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Uh, the encounter card is uh, whispers in your head, dismay, barrel hidden. Secretly add whispers in your head, dismay into your hand. You cannot commit skill cards to the skill test. Double action discard whispers in your head. Well, I think I will play Drawn to the Flame as my first action. We draw an encounter card. It is Fathomless Regret. Discard the top X cards of your deck. X is the number, is your memories. Draw its weakness discarded by this effect. If no weaknesses were drawn, take one more. Okay, well. Uh, do I want to cancel this? Yeah, I need to start building up my willpower, so I'll use the ward of protection. So it goes underneath me to cancel this. And uh, we get this clue. And we'll just move over here as our last action. Okay, so no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw mind sigh and gain a resource. Now that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, and uh, last round I forgot to uh, draw a card and gain a resource for with Diana Stanley's ability, so I'll do that now. <laughs> so terrible secret. Well, of course. Well, um, we'll just take one horror. But we still gained the resource. But at least that's out of our deck. And after that we drew this in the uh, setup. But back to this round. Uh, we add a Doom and counter card for this round is Perspective Switch. Peril Hidden. Secretly add this card into your hand. Opposed. After you discard a hidden card from your hand, discard Perspective Switch. Disengage from all enemies and move to the reveal location for this from your current location. Okay, well, um, let's go investigate this location. Box office, gain five resources. Remember that you stolen from the box office. Well, I'll just do that action, so we'll gain five resources. Uh, last action, we will play Mind Sai. Or. No, we will move back here. And that is our turn. Okay, so. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Dragon Ball Grades, gain a resource. Now I'm. I would really have wanted to play the mine size, so I have the Dragon Ball ready. But next round we'll set up that. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. We had a Doom 3 of 4 encounter card for this round is... Reminiscence, Hidden Peril, secretly at this card in your hand. When an investigator would discover any amount of clues from your location, place one of their clues on that location instead, or discard or disco for, of discovering clues, discard this card. Pause when the game ends. If you are eliminated, if this card is in your hand, add it to the victory display. So if we uh, end up with this card in our hand or get eliminated, it goes into the victory display. Okay. And that's bad. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Uh, first action, we'll play Dragon Ball. Second action, we'll play Mind Sai. That is six resources. And... 
Uh, should we try to investigate here? We can't commit any skill cards to the, uh, the test, so... Maybe we'll just go up to the balcony. And there is one clue here. So first, after you uh, perform a move action, during which you move from balcony to the theater, take two damage. Okay. So that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another read the signs. Gain a resource. That is that. Uh, that's not a resource. Here's a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are the Doom, so the agenda advances. And we are not making good headway here. Okay, so. Personal fears. It doesn't surprise you to hear the voices of your distant friends, family members, uh, hum through the theater, flashes of your childhood, and dreams glimmer between the crumbling walls of the theater. Although your simulation mindscape contains all of your dear memories, it will also shelter your shortcomings and failures. All of your past enemies, accidents, and regrets blare sonorously from all around you. Each investigator may search their deck and discard file for a player card and draw it. Each investigator must search their deck and discard file for a weakness and draw it. Okay. Well, um, I don't want that bad card. So I'll search for this. But I'll also search my deck for... Dark Insight. That's good. So... Shuffling my deck. And... Uh, let's read the next... Agenda. No, a nightmare. Your mind is unraveling every th uh, thread of the past you remembered in this in the virtual dreamscape of Ward Theater. You are slowly drifting into insanity. Again, we can use the, our memories to um, ignore horror, and the doom threshold is five. Well, uh, first we need to resolve this one. So we are taking one horror. And uh, yeah, so we still need to draw our encounter card for this round. It is whispers in your head, doubt, secretly at this card into your hand. You cannot play events. So before this is added to our hand, I'll play Dark Insight to cancel it. So we pay uh, two and gain one and draw a card. We get deny existence. So, yeah, we need also need to put some charges on the mine side. Okay. So we cancelled that. At least. Okay, well, uh, first off, I will investigate here. And I will use the six cents. Or, com yeah, I can't commit cards. Okay, I'll get read of this one no so I can choose to not trigger this yet okay so I don't want to move the, to the father's location yet. Okay, so I'll do the investigation first here. So, we are investigating 3 versus 2. It's a minus 1. We'll grab this clue. Then 
We do a double action to get rid of this one. So this triggers. We'll move to the furthest location. And these go away. And that is that round. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw vicious blow, gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is. Haunting past. Test willpower X. Access your memories. If you fail, search the encounter deck. Pull out the topmost hidden card and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, well. I'm committing uh, the guard dog to this chest. So I am testing uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 versus 2 because my memories, if I actually have to check, I think I only have two memories. <laughs> so we are playing the low memories game. So yeah, I have two memories, so 4 versus 2. And it is the Elder Sign. So we pass. We get to draw... Uh, I'll take the Dark Insight. So I think this round will be move, move, move to backstage so that we advance. So move, move, move. And we enter the backstage so forth. When backstage is real, put two of the set aside backstage doorway locations into play at random. While you are at backstage, each hidden treasure in your hand counts as three cards instead of one for the purpose of counting your hand size. So we may be over our hand, size, hand limit. But first, we put some backstage doorway locations into play at random. Pick those two. And set up them like so. And we get to advance. So I'm just counting. We I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. So I need to throw something out. And uh, we get to advance. So we must spend these clues to enter here. So, the stranger. Spawn, furthest location from all investigators. Aloof hunter. Pause at the end of your turn. If you are at the stranger's location or a connecting location, resolve the forced effect of each hidden card in your hand, ignoring the conditions. So, I think this would go into the victory display. Okay, so that's bad. So, this spawns at the furthest location, which is... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we'll put it into the box office because that's a slow shroud. I don't know if that matters. Oh yeah, and this is a bit different. It is an enemy version of the stranger. It is three fight, three health, and uh, three evade, humanoid elite. And uh, one damage and one horror and victory one. So we, I think we need to go beat that guy up. Uh, so the man in the pallet mask. A man in an elegant black suit awaits you in the halls behind the stage, his face covered by the pale mask. You instantly recognize the actor who played the role of the stranger, one of the characters from The King in Yellow. He turns and disappears through an open doorway, as if taunting you to follow. Uh, again, after you successfully investigate or discover clues at the stranger's location, deal two damage to it, limit uh, once per turn. And after the stranger is defeated, advance. So we need to go beat that guy up. But that is our turn. No enemy actions. No, actually, there are. This guy has Hunter. So it moves one location closer to us, which is actually good. So I need to mark this guy. And what more fitting than to put the yellow enemy marker on it. So it's over here. Okay, so we draw a card. Uh, steadfast, we gain a resource. Then we need to count. So I have 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I need to get, uh, get rid of two cards. So I think six cents is not needed and one of the read the signs. And that is that, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom and counter card to this round is uh, Whispers in your head, Dread. So again, I am using the Dark Insight to not get it. So I'll pay uh, two, get one back and get one card. This Talisman of Protection. So I will investigate here and I will play the de uh, read the signs. Just to get rid of this damn hidden card in my hand. Uh, I am investigating uh, 6 versus 3. And cultist uh, X is the number of hidden cards in your hand, so it's minus 1, so we pass. Uh, we'll actually have to get this clue. And uh, this goes up here. And we draw a card, Holy Rosary, and gain a resource. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll head to here. It is the dressing room. Four shroud, zero clues, heal three horror. Okay. Well, that's bad. We can't get rid of this yet. But this gives us time to play Talisman of Protection because we have an extra um, arcane slot with the Dragon Pole. And that is our turn. So this guy hunts here. Uh, we draw a card. Deny existence. Now we are not at the backstage, so we don't count uh, hidden cards as three, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Uh, we are at three of five encounter cards. Delusional madness, peril search. Secretly move a hidden card from your hand to another investigator's hand if possible. Well, it is not possible. And search is persistence of memory. Test agility tree. If you fail, take one horror for each point you fail by and cross out one tally mark next to your memories. I'm testing tree versus tree. Uh, do I have any agility icons? Well, I don't want to commit the holy rosary for this test, so I'll just test. 3 versus 3, minus 2, we fail, but I will uh, deny existence the horror, uh, so I w would fail by 2, but I still have to cross out one memory. So I only have one memory left. Okay, but we draw a card and we gain a resource. Uh, hmm. I think I will double move to the other backstage location to try to get rid of this stupid card in my hand. So we'll move, move. And it is the rehearsal room. So after you successfully succeed by two or more while investigating the rehearsal room, take one horror. So, last action. We are. Hmm. I'm just mind sighing here. So we are uh, four, one, two. You have four, so five versus one. And it is a minus one again with the cultist. So uh, instead of discovering clues, we'll discard this. So we actually have to drop a clue here get that, uh, rid of that, but that's that, so 
That is our turn. Enemy actions. The stranger hunts here. We draw a card. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, actually last turn we succeeded by two or more. So we had to take a horror. But I will cancel that with the other deny existence. So we draw a card, another dragon ball and gain the resource for that. So now we have one, two, three, four, five cards underneath Diana. So we can't put any more underneath but our willpower is maxed out. But this round uh, we add a doom, so four or five encounter cardies, rats, well that's okay. We'll just uh, move, so the rats hit us and they will hit the guard dog and the guard dog will kill, kill off the rats. Second action will engage the stranger and last action we will hit the stranger and I will commit Vicious Blob. So we are hitting uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 3. And it is a plus 1, so we defeat the stranger with one hit. So this goes into the victory display, and we advance. No mask, no mask. As you face off with the stranger, you get the sense that he is grinning beneath his pale faceless mask. Where is Fragment, you ask? But he does not respond. Who are you? He remains silent. But brings his gloved hand up and slowly removes his mask, revealing a mirror image of yourself. Who are you? The doppelganger asks uh, threateningly. You step back in shock and your other self steps back in accordance. You point toward it and it responds in kind. The stranger appears to mimic your every move. Put a copy of the set aside your other self into play in your investigator's threat area. Check your camp log. If you have uncovered the cultist in human methods, each investigator may either choose one, gain one clue from the token bank. Uh, and heal up to two damage and two horror, and uh, uh, or add one telemark next to their memories. But we haven't, so we can't choose. So uh, next we have unmasked. It is finally time to face your past. You must overcome the cultist. Uh, with within you to uncover the whereabouts of the Sildas Palace. Fourth, when an investigator is defeated, if there is a copy of your other self in their threat area, that copy is defeated as well. Objective, if there are no copies of yourself in play, and at least one investigator is undefeated, advance. So we get one copy of our yourself. Let's look at that. So, question mark, question mark, question mark. Virtual humanoid elite cannot be disengaged, but can be exhausted. Your other selves, fight, health and evade values are equal to the engaged investigator's base, um, combat, health and agility values. So it is a 373. Force, when you deal damage to yourself, it, it is ready. The engaged investigator also takes that amount of damage. You may spend one clue to cancel that damage. And it hits for one horror. Damn, I have an itchy nose today. Okay. Well, uh, enemy face. This hits me for one damage. Or, or one horror. I'll put it on guard dog, so it takes one horror. And it is not ready because it hit to... Uh, exhausted to hit. So, uh, that is one rule uh, I at first got wrong. So, every time enemies hit, they exhaust. So now it doesn't uh, deal the damage to me. And if it did, it would be a funny, like, I would just uh, deal more with the guard dog every time it hit it hit back. But yeah. Oh yeah, and we have an, actually one dodge in our hand. 
which is great for later. But yeah, um, I think that's the enemy phase. We'll go to upkeep. We draw Ward of Protection and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, so unfortunately the agenda advances already. It returns. Check the campaign log. If you fully restored the sanity of K2 PS187, a giggling laughter echoes through the halls. It couldn't be. You thought you defeated the Pokemon, but it appears that it had been hiding within your memories, waiting for the right time to strike. You've got nowhere to hide now. Ha ha ha. The clown's laughter sears into your mind. Pain pounds in your forehead and blood runs from your ears. Search the collection for the Boogeyman Virtual Nightmare and spawn it at the location furthest from all investigators. So... Here is the Boogeyman again. And... Uh, I'll just spawn it over at the box office. So it takes a couple of rounds for it to reach me. Okay, so, out of mind. You feel your mind crumbling under the high uh, wake of the simulation. You don't have much time be left before you lose track of your memories. When you would take any amount of horror, you may cross out one tally mark and force. After you add doom to any card in play, including this agenda, each investigator takes two direct horror. Okay, so we can't uh, take that uh, for many rounds now. So we also get an encounter card. It is Descend into Madness Search. Uh, if you have at least three horror on you, lose one action. So we lose one action. Do we have any cancels for that? Well, we have. Do I, can I afford lose any actions? I think not. Actually, hmm, I, I think we just need to defeat this guy. Just cancelling it. So now this goes into our discard. We take a horror. Okay, well, I think uh, it, yeah, that's there. So, uh, first action we will hit this guy. So we are hitting, uh, let's see, we are hitting, I'll use the Steadfast for this attack. Uh, we are hitting 3 versus, uh, I mean, we are at 6, 7, 8, versus 3. Elder sign. Well, I'm taking that deny existence for sure. But I uh, let's see. So when you deal damage to your other self, if it is ready, the engaged investigator also takes that amount of damage. So we take two damage. So this guy gets two. I'll get two. And uh, that is not an enemy attack, unfortunately. Last action will hit again. And I will commit the other steadfast. Minus one. We hit again, it hits again. 
I'm actually changing one of these. So we are at uh, 5 of 7 on this guy. That is our turn. Enemy actions. This guy hits me. I will dodge it. And uh, then test agility 1. If you succeed, deal 1 damage to that enemy. So it is again exhausted. And this is not an attack. So I think we don't have time to play this. So I commit it. So we are testing for now i'll just use one of my mind's eye charges for this test so i'm uh, six versus one elder sign i'll take another one of these so we deal one more damage to this guy then uh this guy hunts here upkeep we draw Defensive stance and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we add a Doom encounter card for this round is Dark Reflections Murder. Secretly add this card in your hand. Force after you reshuffle your deck, because there are no cards in it, discard this card and take. Three horror action. Discard an ally asset controlled by an investigator at your location. Discard dark Reflec reflections murder murderer. Um, we ignore that. So first action. We'll move over here. This guy hits us. We will just deny existence the damage. So. Uh, it goes up here, we draw a card and gain a resource. We will uh, use the... Uh, read the signs to investigate, this guy hits us, we will deny existence the damage. But we can't put it uh, up, up here, it is only once per phase. So... We are investigating uh, Bazillion versus something. Minus two, we actually have to take a horror. I'll take it on the guard dog. But we gain these clues. Actually, we ignore that horror because of uh, the read the signs. So we ignore any penalties from investigating the location so back up last action we will hit this guy with everything we have so we'll commit the twilight blade defensive stance and dragon pole to kill it off it is a skull and skull is half of your memories rounded down so it's zero so this is defeated and it still hits me for two damage, but it's okay. We can actually put that on the guard dog. So this goes into the victory display. This victory is zero, and we have to advance. If there are no copies of your other self in play, and at least one investigator is undefeated, advance. Okay, so stealing the sh show. I'm just, uh, I think I forgot to take the horror, oh sorry for bumping the camera, so I forgot to take the horror at the, so I, uh, instead of ignoring one of the attacks from it, I, I took one horror on the guard dog, so these damages came on, no, I, yeah, <laughs> sorry, uh, Messing up a bit. I think I forgot to take the horror at the end of last round. Or at the, um, after adding Doom to the agenda. But it is what it is. So we fix that by filling off the... Uh, denying existing it that. And then we denied the existence one of the attacks and took the one on the guard dog. And then killed it. So that should be okay. So, stealing the show. The other you falls down to the ground in defeat. You have finally van vanquished your demons. The doppelganger cries out in defiance. You don't know what you are fighting. 
within the palaces of Carcosa after we freed the princess, we uncovered the true nature of Haster, and it is greater than any one of us could have imagined. It is inevitable. You watch as your other self disintegrates into ash and dust and dis dissipate into the air. Resolution 2. Okay, well, uh, resolution 2. Within the infectious tumor that is the cultist consciousness finally ejected from your mind, you have unlocked the part of your memories that has been kept concealed by your other self. The ritual to locate the fragment of Carcosa. Without further ado, you quickly disconnect yourself from the virtual dreamlands and return to form in the tattered Amalian, ready to confront Tasilda at long last. If at least one copy of Reminiscence Treachery is in the victory display, add one tablet token to the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign. We luckily got rid of that. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. Uh, well, we only got one, two, three, four experience, but that's at least something. And we proceed to scenario five, which is basically scenario seven. Uh, which is the fragment of Carcosa. So, uh, that was the machine in yellow scenario. This should actually be <laughs> like this. So, uh, that went pretty well. Uh, our cancels were working perfectly for this. And uh, I think we were pretty close with the horror, but we could have discarded uh, the talisman of protection if we would have missed this round and uh, maybe survive but yeah a close one and this is a uh, soft timer because in this scenario there is no way to hurt this guy or damage or evade or even attack so once this guy gets you it will start dealing two horrors uh, for every attack of opportunity so that's nasty but yeah that was the machine in yellow with uh, diane stanley next up the fragment of Carcosa scenario so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time